In this episode of Rush Outdoors, we're in the pursuit of an Empire State Buck. Then it's member footage with Rush Uncut. Awesome New York buck. Oh, oh. This is insane. Look at this blood trail. Got a really nice buck. Crazy. He's down. Rush Outdoors is brought to you by Runnings, your home farm and outdoor store. Hey everyone, welcome to Rush Outdoors. I'm Realtree Pro Staff for Tim Andrus. We just had a fantastic morning right here on the Niagara River. That's Captain Frank Campbell right there, editor Brian Kirby. We all were on fish today. Sitting down here in the lower river early in the morning in June. Yeah, that's a nice one. Wow. That's a, <laughs> yeah, that's oh, a good way to start a net. That's a. Oh, yeah. Oh, no doubt that's a five. Oh, a five. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. I, I said we were going to start the day right, and that is it right there. We'll take that all day long. Hold on, Brett. Up by you? Yeah, right behind me. Oh, not bad. At first I was like, yeah, a little guy, but I'll take this all day. Niagara River smallmouth. Gotta love it. Oh, yeah, buddy. Nice fish. Enjoy it. Come on. Oh, oh no. <laughs> that is how you do it. Catch and release right there, baby. <laughs> Nice smallmouth. Oh That's a big smallie. It's probably your biggest smallie over there, Brian. You might be accurate there, Tim. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's a slob. Tim, what do we think here? There. That nice, is... nice smallmouth. Holy cow. Niagara River does not disappoint. Beauty, buddy. <laughs> that is oh great. <laughs> Well, after we dropped the last big one on the... <laughs> we were quick enough with the net. Nice, Molly, right here in Niagara River, Captain Frank. Great morning. Editor Brian's kicking butt here on the fish today. How about a break in the fishing? Let's join Pro Staff for Keep Our Thalamu right here in New York with his bow, chasing whitetails. All right, well, we're back in New York State, archery hunting, early season. Um, it's mid-October. Boy, it's just beautiful time of the year. Um, the temperatures are just right. The pre-ruts come in. The deer are starting to get active. And we had a really good encounter early on with uh, one of the bucks that I had targeted on this private piece of property that I had. 55 yards and uh, I just didn't, I wasn't going to push that shot. Very good opportunity. Got a lot of the season left. Some of the best time of the year is up and coming here in the near future. So we waited about a week, had a really nice wind again. Beautiful, gorgeous fall day, afternoon hunt. Cool, this camera's here so we can get some really good images. What we got is a, um, a trail that walks around the bedding area. Uh, I'm gonna walk way up and around it. I know right where this buck that I'm hunting is, is bedding. So, thanks to the Cobra cameras. And I've seen him once, so I had a good encounter. But, we're gonna use the, uh, we're gonna use the wind, walk way up and around him. And I gotta stand up here, we're gonna sit in it. So we'll see you there. I'm very fortunate that I can walk down these mode paths. And I can get in fairly quiet compared to going through the woods. So we're gonna ease in here. Oh, that's a fresh tree there. There was one here, which is still here. Camera gears to the tree. I 
nice little spot. Gives me a little conceal. Well, okay, we just got settled in the stand here for an afternoon hunt. We're after a really nice nine point in here. I had an encounter with him about seven days ago. Right here, 50 yards. He's coming out of this bedding area. I've kind of proven that with the, the cameras that I have. And uh, so I know what trail he comes, and I know he always wants to head that way to feed. So we'll keep our fingers crossed we get an eye on him, but maybe we won't have to sit here that long. I don't know. That's why they call it hunt. We're going to find out. So stick with us. Closed captioning is brought to you by Visit St. Lawrence County. Sights and Sounds of Niagara Falls, USA, an outdoor playground for those of all ages. Discover the majestic Niagara Falls and immerse yourself in history, arts, culture, and adventure. From high-speed jet boats racing through Class 5 rapids, scenic hikes in the Niagara Gorge, or world-class sport fishing in the Niagara River and Lake Ontario, explore more at NiagaraFallsUSA.com or call 1-877-FALLS-US. Our time spent in the outdoors is building stories. Stories that last long after the hunt. The Maverick XL is part of that story. The lightweight two-piece design makes the Maverick a leader in portability, but still tough enough to handle any season. True 360 degree viewing means more opportunities to take your shot. Customize it your way or use the Maverick next level platform system. Your hunt, your way, your story, that's Maverick hunting. of the air gun hunter, Umarex Air Guns. Rush Outdoors is also brought to you by Maverick Hunting, Umarex Air Guns, the New York Sportsman's Expo, Niagara Falls, USA, CVA, Whitewater Fishing Apparel, Scent Lock, Nocturnal Lighted Knox, Muds Boots, Block Targets, IQ Bow Sights, Steel, Quaker Boy, and these fine sponsors. The deer that we were looking for, he ended up finally showing right at the prime time of the night, that magical hour.
boy, I was able to get my bow drawed back, but I drew my bow way too early. <laughs> he was coming toward us and I thought for sure he was gonna work his way a little bit faster, get up to where I needed to be able to thread the needle through some of my very fine openings that I had. I only had just a few good shots that way. And uh, we were at full draw for I think about two minutes. For live updates, like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Rush Outdoors is also brought to you by the Black Lake Chamber of Commerce, Caldwell Shooting Supplies, Muzzy Broadheads, Old Man Tree Stands, Carbon Express Arrows, Domain Food Plots, Seed and Attractants, Hunter Safety Systems, Clayton Distillery, Vortex Optics, Flame King, and these fine sponsors, was able to settle the pin, threaded the needle, made a really good shot. We looked at the arrow. We needed to back out. We needed to give the deer some more time. I'm back at the truck here. Um, we kind of ran out of flashlight. The blood's starting to slow up a little bit. So we're, we backed out. Got good blood and we're gonna go back in and we're gonna find him hopefully in the morning. But right now we're gonna, we're gonna go get a sleepless night of sleep. Got back on the blood trail finally. I've resumed it about another 60 yards or so. And, uh, you know, we're still getting good blood.
I just gotta stay on the trail. If he stays in this open hardwoods, the leaves, it's easy to follow this blood. All right, guys, look at what I just found. I got my buck. Oh, the coyotes tried to get into him. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Good deal. We got him. My truck's right there. <laughs> oh, boy. I hit him low right there. All right, you guys. We got this buck finally. Boy, he made us earn it. We uh, tracked him for about three hours this morning. And he went maybe 300 yards. Unbelievable. Um, started bleeding more and more and more as the trail went on. Uh, for a while, it was just little spots. And was able, thankful to the leaves, be able to see a lot of the blood that just lightly splattered. And then his chest cavity got opened up. We ended up hitting on the other side there, uh, right here, just underneath the brisket, uh, or above the brisket there. And I knew it, I knew it was low. Uh, busted the arrow off immediately there, you see on the video. And uh, he took off and he kind of went around and bedded underneath me about 45 yards. And I thought he was gonna be right there. I snuck out of the tree. I waited about an hour uh, after dark, snuck out of the tree. So, you know, he had quite enough time um, and the coyotes start going off. Made me very nervous. So, went back, got a friend, and we tracked him last night for a while. And uh, lost the blood a little bit. You know, we just lost light. Uh, our lights, flashlights went dim. And I decided, well, let's just back out. It's gonna be really cold. You know, the coyotes might get into him a little bit. But that's the chance I had to take. And uh, went back in first uh, thing this morning before daybreak. Uh, couldn't find where we left off. Uh, finally found out where we left off there and resumed the blood trail and it just got more and more and more and more and he just did a big circle, went right back to where he came out of and uh, we ended up found him. So very good hunt in central New York. Uh, this is my uh, first buck in New York in a few years here with a bow. So just try to let them all get mature. He's, a, he's at least a good three year old. So we uh, we put a good shot on him, passed him a couple weeks ago, and uh, just had a 50 yard shot, wasn't close enough, got some good video footage of him, watch him for an hour, watch him rip up a tree, make, made a scrape, hit my scrape that I had a camera on, and uh, it's all good. We had him patterned thanks to that covert camera. Just uh, got it done again here in New York. Man, oh man, what an awesome view right there. And what else was awesome? Keith, your hunt was awesome. Great looking buck. Hi, Gordon Wood here with Roush Outdoors. When I want to know what's going on in the great outdoors in New York State, I turn no farther than the New York Outdoor News, the sportsman's choice for news and information. Welcome to the Runnings Rundown, brought to you by Runnings, your home, farm, and outdoor store. This week we're showcasing the LEM MaxVac Sealer, a must-have for every family to prevent freezer burn, whether it's your meat, your fish, your vegetables, whatever. Stainless steel construction, built to last, countertop friendly, have it wired or wireless when you're on the go. Keep your food fresh with 250 consecutive seals. Also has two and a half hour nonstop use. No matter if you're processing meat from the field or vegetables in the garden, protect your investment with these sealers. And that's all for the Runnings Rundown. Are you ready to discover the hidden gem of upstate New York? Welcome to the 100 must-see miles on the Erie Canal, where the possibilities are endless. Lace up your running shoes or hop on your bicycle and enjoy exploring charming towns and picturesque landscapes along the canal's historic towpath. Feel the breeze as you set out on a boat trip or glide through the tranquil canal on a paddling excursion. Come and experience the 100 must-see miles on the Erie Canal, where adventure awaits you. Homegrown, handcrafted, and delicious spirits are what you'll find at Clayton Distillery. Clayton Distillery is a family-run business that features clean and smooth locally made products. New this summer, try their garlic vodka, perfect for Bloody Marys. Also try their Heat Wave Cinnamon Whiskey and Blueberry Liqueur. Clayton Distillery wants to really share their craft with our guests this summer. Introducing production facility tours. Learn more about how their spirits are made. Do a tasting. Have a moonshine slushy and leave with a shot glass. See you this summer at Clayton Distillery. Nestled in the heart of St. Lawrence County, Black Lake is one of New York's most pristine vacation destinations. Join us for a relaxing day on shore or have an exciting day on the water. 
Black Lake offers fishing for serious anglers and those looking to create lifelong memories with the family. Stay at the lake at one of our many cottages and campgrounds. For more information, go to blacklakeny.com. Rush Uncut is brought to you by Moby Dick Charters of Henderson Harbor, New York. Hey, welcome to Rush Uncut. Guys, Rush Uncut is a member-driven portion of our show where viewers at home get to send in their footage and get it aired on Rush Outdoors. Hey, John, who do we have up first? All right, guys, up first we have Ryan Mortensen's son, Waddell, in Wisconsin, taking his first buck with the gun. What a fantastic morning. It was kind of slow for us, wasn't it? We didn't see very many deer. It's cold, but it's October 8th, youth hunt, and this is Waddell's very first hunt behind the gun, and he got it done with a one, two, three, four, five, five pointer. Yeah, heck of a nice buck. Uh, his first shot must have been a little back. He hunched up, but he gave us another one and popped another one in the gun, and. Handed the gun back over to you and you got her done and placed the next one perfectly. Good job, buddy. No tracking needed. Uh, also got word that Marshall, his older brother, he uh, went and sat in his stand this morning and ended up shooting a buck right away this morning. Uh, we we're not sure on whether that one is done for or not. It ran off into the long grass, but we could have two bucks in the back of the truck opening morning in a youth hunt. <laughs> what do you got to say? Got anything to say? Thank my Uncle Dean and my Uncle Dog. Grandpa Dog. Grandpa Dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we sat in Grandpa Dog's stand this morning and this is Uncle Dean's land. So, so thankful that you get to hunt here and, and make memories. You can never forget about this. No. no, you've been waiting for this, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Wydell, on a great hunt. All right, up next, we have the turkey slayer himself, Shane Smith in Ohio with a bow. drawing man at first and he pitched up in the air and I had to call back to him he turned around and come right back I shot him straight on I should have that arrow was all the way through him man and uh, <clears throat> he was wobbling over there looked like he was about to go down 
I had to take that shot straight on. This is the second day of uh, Ohio spring turkey season here. And I may have just put the smack down on one. I hope. That was a uh, eight yard shot. <laughs> I put it right there. I put it right in the smoker, son. It went through and come out back here. As you can see, when he when he pitched up, the arrow was sticking out the back of him. And my daggone GoPro died on me, or I would have had a pass through coming through the back. But look at this, dude. He got blood all over him. And uh, I heard him flopping down over the bank here. So uh, this is my second bird with a bow I've ever killed. Congrats, Shane. That was a great hunt. All right, if any of you guys are looking to become a member, it's simple. Log on to RushOutdoors.com, click on the Uncut logo, put your information in there. Better yet, if you want to swing on down to Running's Great New York Sportsman's Expo the last weekend in January at the State Fairgrounds, Syracuse, New York, you can stop on down by the booth, you can sign up for a fishing charter, you can sign up to be a member. Don't forget to rush outdoors. With a camera. Sean Cut is brought to you by Fire Tower Doubles, Upstream Construction, Dryden Lawn and Recreation, Iron Skillet Seasonings, Woody's Maple Syrup, Prime Cuts Barbershop, JP Builders, Peak Performance Labradors, Wood Boat Brewery, IBEW 43, and IBEW 1249. Put on a show. Jump! Yay! <laughs> I was like, do a little jump, buddy. Oh, yeah. Dark. Right. Tim, the spinnerbait bite's been pretty good all day, and now it's starting to rain. It seems like they want your gold a little more. Hmm. All right, that's a nice fish. Oh, yeah. Man, we've yeah. caught some real quality fish today. Oh, oh, oh. Another great smallie here in the Niagara River. We got a little bit of rain, but no worries. We got white water on. Makes it stop. Not as big as the last one, I don't think. Tim, what are we doing today? Sweet. I am not going to complain one bit. This is a heck of a day for smallmouth. Hey, and one more thing. Don't think when you come down here to the river that you need a boat. We saw multiple guys fishing from shore, catching fish just like us. So don't rule that out. That's all the time we have for this week. Thank you for tuning in. From everyone at Rush Outdoors, I'm your host, Tim Anders. We'll see you out on the water.